In the background behind me is the coolest bird around, the SR-71. She's known as the spy in the sky. Talking with me about her experience as a commander of a different kind of surveillance vehicle is Rebecca Cowan-Hirsch. Thanks for joining us, Rebecca. Thank you, Ariel. It's good to be here. So, can you tell us, how did your work as a pilot support the Apollo program? So much like the spy in the sky, we were the eye in the sky. When the Apollo missions were flying and now the satellite missions are flying, our aircraft provided that vision in between the land masses over broad ocean areas, collecting the telemetry from the orbital vehicles. So telemetry, for the students who don't know, can you tell us a little more about what that is? Telemetry is much like television. While television is video over a distance, telemetry is data measured over a distance. How did your work in middle and high school prepare you for all the missions that you do on career today? It opened up a thirst for knowledge. I took a lot of science classes, a lot of math classes. As I headed towards my engineering degree, ultimately, that led me into a more technical field that opened new opportunities, specifically in aviation and experimental flight test engineering. And finally, what advice do you have for a student like myself interested in breaking into the aviation industry? Don't be afraid to try new things. While science and technology opens opportunities and opens doors, it really is a, an adventurous spirit. Don't be afraid to fail, because failure just allows you to understand more about your strengths. Thank you. Thank you. Great words from Rebecca Cowan-Hirsch.